Man. Let's open up the Eastern Conference Finals. Here we go. Game one from Chicago. Maybe you've met LeBron James. James, D-Wade in the Heat, 0-3 against the Bulls in the regular season. Derrick Rose, the youngest MVP in NBA history. How do you stop him? One theory is slow down Derrick Rose, you beat the Bulls. Is that something? Yeah, do you have an idea how to do that? <laughs> He's MVP. Well, one way, maybe to stop him, some pregame jitters early on in the game. Rose would struggle, doubled off the screen, then picked off by LeBron James. Yeah, this kind of happens when you press a little bit too much. He's excited about having the Eastern Conference Finals back at home. He's a Chicago kid making some un un ill-advised plays right now, and he needs to settle down. LeBron taking advantage. There, Joel Anthony on the steal. Rose turned it over three times in the first five minutes of the game, and here's LeBron to Chris Bosh. Chris Fox, a big beneficiary of LeBron and Dwayne on the floor because they create so much attention, he's able to get into the act. C.J. Watson in transition, feeds Taj Gibson. That doesn't happen to D-Wade too often. No, it does not. He got sucked in and got into a place where he just couldn't get out of the way, and I'm sure he's going to hear about this from a lot of folks in Chicago. Wade's a Chicago guy, too. This, this is flat out embarrassing for him. Well, one thing that happens in this game, everybody goes through that at some point. You just hope it's not on a national level. Wait, you mean that happen to you too at some point? No, I don't know. Uh, Wade grabs, uh, misses the rebound there. The runner, Joe Kim Noah grabs the rebound. You see Wade, he's making up for it there. Sneaks behind Noah with a steal attempt to, to Bosch for the slam. Bosch had 17-7 and seven in the first half. A big first half. Here in the third, LeBron to Bosch. one in a slam with Carlos Puzer. Yeah, but he is making shots where when he got the ball, all he had to do was shoot or make the play. The easiest play. Rose the open three. Chicago excellent from three. Yes, they were. They were sucking the defense in. And when you suck the defense in, you have shooters spotted up. That's what you want from your offense. Noah filling the lane there. Bulls up nine after a 10-zip run. And then the Chicago defense took over, especially on LeBron and D-Wade. Big time block here. You'll see him Noah playing one-on-one -on -one against Dwayne Wade. He gets to the middle, and he's still able to block his shot and leads to a fast break situation. Well, Dan got himself a very nice game. Yes, he did. He applied the pressure on LeBron all night. He didn't allow LeBron to rest or relax at any moment of the game. LeBron putting it on the floor, then Gibson the block there. Yes, the long athletic bigs that the Chicago Bulls have is a key component to why their defense ranked number one in the NBA. LeBron and Wade held a 33. They're lucky to have Chris Bosh. Early in the fourth, Gibson finds Omira Sheehan for the slam and the foul pulls up 11 then cj watson feeds ronnie brewer down low and here comes that chicago bench yeah and this is from that coach thibodeau stress make the easy pass don't get fancy just make the right play shot clock on two watson hits the bulls bench scored 28 in the game and they're loving it over four minutes of play bulls up 15. here's rose driving up mario chalmers high off the glass rose at 28. That was special because he saw the help coming over way before he took his shot. And that's the thing. He has great vision, and he understands when to put up his shot. How about that putback by Gibson? Exclamation point. Yes, it is. There's a great restaurant in Chicago, <laughs> I heard, from two valuable sports members here. And I'm sure he should get a filet mignon for that. And Boomer says Dipkins is pretty good, too. Rose loves it. The Bulls win 103-82. Chicago draws first blood in the NBA's Eastern Conference Final. Chicago on a 10-zip run midway through the third, then pulled away in the fourth game two Wednesday night back in Chicago.